Well, new at six, we are hearing exclusively from a 74 year old man who was shot fighting off a carjacking attempt and survived. The shooting happened this morning on North 52nd Street near Girard Avenue. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed spoke with the victim. Alicia. Just this shooting could have ended in a tragedy. The victim walked out of the 18th District Police Station about half an hour ago and says he's lucky to be alive. Thank God for all the people who called and checked on me today. My phone is gone dead. Oh, <laughs> Lonnie Kirkland Jr. is on his way home after a long day at the hospital and talking to police. One of them things, thank God. Could have been worse. He has two wounds from bullets that grazed his head. He says this morning a man walked up and tried to carjack him at North 52nd and Gerard. He came up beside my truck and said, I heard you had a gun, old man. I want that, um, I'm going to take that truck, I'm going to rob it, I'm going to kill you. A threat he didn't take lightly. Kirkland, who has a license to carry, fought off the attacker and shot back. He says he may have hit the suspect as he ran away. I think I might have glazed his hand, uh, leg, maybe. During the barrage of gunfire, at least four bullets pierced the Dodge Ram, and upwards of a dozen shell casings were left on the ground. Said the four year old man. Who want to hurt an old man now? <laughs> Police say violent crime is on a downward trend across the city. However, robberies that include guns have been up 20% in the past month. Bear is a retired FedEx employee well known in the area. Nobody can, can't blame him for what he did. You know what I mean? He was protecting himself. Whoever did a whole bit put something hot in it. In the neighborhood loves him. I get him in and we hoping and praying for his recovery. Thankfully, Lonnie will be okay. Friends and neighbors applaud him for defending himself. So far, the shooter is still on the loose. Reporting live from West Philadelphia, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.